Well, hell sweet hello there, valued visitor. I am sure sorry to break it to you, but our orchards are closed to all officially guided tours at this precise moment in time. You know, when your folks warn you your face will freeze like that, you aren't supposed to take it seriously. Why, thank you! Rizzo's encourages all workers to put on a happy face when engaging with valued customers. Rizzo's does beseech you to please purchase one of our self-guided options if you're wishing to join one of our rejuvenative, relaxing, reformatory tours. Now with a Puzzle Hedges trademark maze hunt and special edition taste testing for an extra 35 bits a ticket. Ah, you mean that lovely actor who got herself dead? Damn shame what happened to her. She did come by, but not during any official tour time. I thought she'd hired a private tour at first, but it was Dr. Blossom who was showing her the way to the RR and DD labs. Can't imagine why she'd need to meet with our head researcher on the Spectrum product line outside of her lab hours. Unless, of course, it had to do with the new product unveiling. That's right. She was. She sure made for some lovely adverts. Maybe it might have involved an issue with the launch batch then? I can't rightly say. All I know is one of our certified tour guides could have given her a much more comprehensive tour of the grounds were that her interest. Can't say that I have. We use bad batches of liquor for our pesticides. Only the exterminator mechanicals are armed around here. And I haven't seen any bloody objects aside from the usual pair of gardening shears. Unless, that is, Miss Helen was also stung to death by pollinization mosquitoes. She wasn't, was she? That would be a mighty wretched way to go. Pollinization by killer mosquitoes, indeedy. It's cutting edge Rizzo's technology. But don't you worry, valued visitor. Our pollinization cycles only run when the orchards are empty, for safety reasons. When a pollinization cycle finishes or is aborted, all mosquitoes are biologically programmed to return to the hive, their holding pen. Of course, the very last thing Rizzo's would want is a beloved tourist bumbling into the hive and triggering an unscheduled cycle. So you'd best steer clear of it for safety. You'll know the hive by its big, glimmering electric fencing. Yes, indeedy. I've got the wondrous honor of having just been promoted to third keeper of the grounds after the last one disappeared on the job. Gosh, I guess about a week ago now. Before my morning clock in last Sunday, I was but a lowly nanner peeler picker on the line shift. Now I'm responsible for growing every twig and berry on this vast swath of fertile land. Heaven sweet, no. It's not like he was murdered. He simply disappeared without a trace and hasn't been heard from since. And the groundkeeper before that one? Well, she wasn't missing at all. Her body was found near hive control, covered head to toe in thousands of welts. No mystery, and certainly no murder with what happened there. I mean, you can't exactly hold some mosquitoes on trial. <laughs> Accidents do happen on the job. Can't speak for others, but I most assuredly don't. I reckon you could talk to my supervisor, the overseeing orchardist. He would know more. I used to ask questions, but gee, I just don't feel the urge to anymore. Well now, you certainly are an individual of refined taste. There are folks who defend the premium option and its sprat petting zoo, but once you've been bit by one sprat, you've been bit by them all. Of course, tours of any excess level must be suspended during a scheduled pollinization cycle. Our mosquitoes are quite territorial and have been known to sting both workers and visitors alike. Gosh and goody gumdrops, but I could talk about the orchards till my lips fell off. <laughs> Instead, let's talk about whatever interests you. Because that's what interests me, too. 
Why, you say that as if it's a bad thing. <laughs> I am quite overcome with happiness, indeed. You won't find a Rizzo's worker in all the Veradanos who isn't a hundred percent thrilled in their day-to-day -day existence. It's part of our brand manifesto. I am so glad you agree. At Rizzo's, we encourage our employees to view customers in the same way they would a board-approved social acquaintance. Which means it is my pleasure to spend time with you even when I am not being paid to do so. Isn't that nice? I certainly think so. And you know what never fails to bring a smile to my face? The breathtaking tours we offer throughout the orchards. Seasonally available for purchase in the Nut Hut. What kind of investigation? You wouldn't happen to be from the health inspection office, would you? Oh, drat. This distresses me, and I do not like feeling cross. I warned the orchardists this could happen when we halted our monthly bribe to slug. They were always a reliable go-between, uh, regarding inspections before now. So, what might you be looking to find out, Ms. Inspector? Did he now? Well, that sounds about right. He has been mightily outspoken in his disdain for Slug in recent months. The overseeing orchardist had the last groundskeeper deliver a contract termination in the place of our regular payment. Rizzo's decided we don't need their services anymore. See, with our new morale-boosting medical treatments, our employees are much more productive. No need for unsightly intimidation tactics. Sorry, I'm not at liberty to say. Trade secrets and all that. You understand, I'm sure. I do hope this pleasant conversation has made me useful to you. Rizzo's likes it when we're useful to customers. And I like anything Rizzo's likes. An excellent decision you most certainly won't have cause to regret. Now, presently, you're standing smack dab in the pride and joy of Rizzo's nearly natural product development sector. We call this fecund landscape the Purpleberry Orchards, since that's our main crop. But we also sow and grow mock apples, nanners, pea-free nuts, tarmac, and more. Of course. I can't stop you from poking around, but do be mindful of our pollinization hive. Wasquitoes tend towards aggressive at the best of times. There's a reason why we keep him behind an electric fence, you know. Hi again. Might I recommend a Rizzo's Dark Matter Bar? It's so dark not even light can pierce it. Isn't science wonderful? Now I'd love to get you something. Maybe a couple somethings? Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. Wow, what a strange question. I'm much too delighted to be suspicious. I sold lower level spectrums to workers from RRDD Labs, Hive Control, and the Conservatory. Jacob's predecessor also splurged briefly on a bottle beyond his pay grade, and Black Hole Birdie bought my most expensive spectrum when he visited. I wish he'd bought more. Oh, if you're looking for your own spectrum, remember that you can always buy from the Nut Hut or the Grand Colonial Bar, so long as you have the bits to back up your taste. Dibs, mega dibs. You give that directly to me. <laughs> 